Well, wow. see something happening already? A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. I invited the Dutch pizza god to show us how to make the perfect pizza. Pizza comes in all kinds of shapes and forms. I love pizza, but more importantly, my kids love pizza. So I gotta make a lot of pizza. And I wanna start by making pizzas that are very accessible. A pizza that's better than the deep freeze pizza. I'm gonna show you how I make pizza for my kids, but I also invited someone that is really gonna show us how to do it. This supermarket pizza is so easy. All you need to do is roll it out, put some tomato sauce on it that comes with the package. Put a little bit of pesto on, some frozen Parmesan cheese, and then finish it off with anything you like. For instance, these slices of salami. Just slide it in, set the oven to 200 degrees, and you're done. My super easy supermarket pizza is done. Yeah, it's super easy. That's all I can say. Now I'm getting to the next step. I'm gonna show you what I do to make delicious pizza at home. Let's just fire off the barbecue that I use. The pellets are lit and it can go back into the pizza oven. I just made my pizza dough and I use pre-mixed pizza flour. Yeast is already in there, salt's already in there and it's made of a zero flour, which means it's a really fine grind. And all I needed to do is just add a little bit of water and then put it in my kitchen machine. Put a drizzle of olive oil on, cover it and set it aside for at least an hour or an hour and a half. Of course, if you're looking for that recipe, you can find it on pitmasterx.com. I'm gonna make a pizza out of this. As you can see, I got nice oily hands. I'm gonna shape this up into a pizza. I'm gonna take a little bit of flour, put it on my board. Now, of course, if I wanna impress someone, I'm just gonna throw around my pizza dough, make them believe I'm a real pizza master. My pizza bottom is ready. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato pulp. This is my favorite brand. It's nice coarse in structure and I wanna put as little as possible on. Very, very tasty. Here comes my magic trick. Parmesan cheese, the real stuff. And this is gonna bring salt. It's gonna bring a peppery umami flavor to the pizza. And that's why I don't season my tomato sauce because this is bringing all the flavor. Now let's take a look into my pizza oven. And the temperature reading on the cover says it's around 300 to 325 degrees Celsius, which is nice and hot. And that's gonna make my pizza a very delicious pizza. So I'm gonna slide this in, put the lid on, and then I gotta stand back and let the magic happen inside the pizza oven. But look at this, there's this little peak hole. <laughs> that allows me to take a look inside. If that weren't there, I would be constantly pulling the lid off. I would be sure of it. And that's how I make my pizzas at home, finishing it off with a fresh twig of basil. Now my kids love my pizzas and I think they're reasonably okay, but I know they have some big flaws in them. So that's why I'm gonna take it to the next level and I invited Chef Eric. Hey. <laughs> Chef Eric is a huge TikTok star in the Netherlands and all he does is make pizzas. Verder kan ik ook helemaal niks. Three things you don't like about my pizza. First of all, I like most pizzas, so I don't want to insult you by blaming your pizzas. No, but I would uh, add as much as possible fresh ingredients and use your own dough. Dough that has been living for about 24 hours or maybe even 48 hours, so that's even better. Because the longer you proof your dough, the more taste it gets. It will be much easier to digest. I like easy digestible pizzas. Second, good Italian cheese, like this one, Fior di Latte. That's a kind of a mozzarella. When you go to an Italian pizzeria and uh, for instance, Napoli, they use this cheese all, all the time. Last thing you didn't like about my pizza? You can get an even better pizza if you get a little hotter of it, 400 or 450 degrees centigrade. That would be perfect for the Italian pizza. All right, now you yeah. heard it from the boss. I need to improve my game, but I'm letting him show me how to do it. And this is how I make my pizza dough. Chef Eric starts with 390 milliliters of water that he mixes with 18 grams of salt. Once the salt is dissolved, he's adding a little bit of his flour. This is pizza flour and it's zero grind. He only adds a little bit to create a batter. And once that batter is smooth, he adds 0.5 grams of active dry yeast. Then the rest of the flour goes in, totaling up to 600 grams of flour. That's gonna be mixed until you have a firm bowl. Then he takes it out of the bowl onto the board and starts kneading. 
and he continues to knead with the palm of his hand, applying force to the dough bowl. In the last phase, he changes his technique by pulling on the dough, creating a big ball. To make sure that he knows when it's done, he pushes it and when it comes back up, he knows it's ready. A little drizzle of olive oil in the bowl that he uses to prove his dough in. After an hour of proving, he divides the big ball of dough into smaller bowls and stores them. That's where the real curing starts. Okay, first we're going to take one of the bowls. Those have been uh, proofed for approximately 48 hours. Put them in the flour. So as you can see, I use a lot of water in my dough, so they are very sticky. What's important now is that you press all the air to the sides. So you get a thin base here in the middle and an airy crust to the sides. We have to make sure that the pizza is not too big for the oven. And now very important, get rid of all the excess flour. If that comes in your oven, it will burn. Add one good spoon of tomato sauce. Start in the middle. A good handful of fior di latte. This is a kind of mozzarella. I use this fior di latte, which is being pre-cut and a little bit drier than normal mozzarella from the supermarket. Because if you use the fresh mozzarella, your pizza can become very soggy or sticky. The basil leaves, before we put it in the oven, it's only a short time in the oven, so the basil won't be too dry. And then a small drizzle of oil. The oil is for taste, but also for the tomatoes to cook better. Add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, just like that, for flavor. And I'm gonna add some more later when it's done. Spread it out a little bit, and it's ready to go in the oven. So, well, the oven is hot, so let's put it in. There it is. And let's wait for at least 15 seconds before we open it again to see if it's ready or not. Well, wow. see something happening already? It's screaming hot. Pizza oven. Not Eric. <laughs> Chef Eric's hot as well, but the pizza's oven. What I can see is that that pizza is bubbling away and it's going super, super fast. If you open it up, the flames, you can see them shoot out. Take a little peek, because as you can see, there's a lot of air in the crust and it comes up. So, it's done. Well, let's compare pizzas. This is my version, the dad pizza. And that's Chef Eric's Pizza God pizza version. <laughs> I'm really astounded with the amount of yeah. beautiful, with the beautiful pizza that you created compared to mine. He's got a beautiful, fluffy, airy crust. He's got a nice jar on the crust as well. And his cheese to tomato ratio looks absolutely amazing. I need to prove my dough for 48 hours. That would be a good yeah. start. The longer the better. Wet dough, proven for a longer period yeah. of time. And you've got that beautiful mozzarella, that dry mm -hmm. mozzarella that you use yeah. for that color, right? More taste, and it doesn't well, wet your pizza. There you have it, that's the trick. 